This is going to be a video of the back and chest muscles. And we have Frederick here. And there's Chloe. Hi. Um, he's going to help us identify these different muscles. So we're going to start off by identifying the diaphragm. Here's a diaphragm there in yellow. Um, that's the muscle underneath your lungs. And then up here in green, we have the sternocleidomastoid. And on the other side, just to give you a perspective of where these things are, we have the levator scapulae. Okay. All right, so over here in orange, we have the subscapularis muscle. And then let's go ahead and turn Freddie around. And up there again, you would have the levator scapulae up there in orange. Okay. And pink there, you're going to have the supraspinatus. Below that in yellow, it makes a triangle. You're going to have the infraspinatus. And over here in pink and blue, we're going to have the teres muscle. So in pink there, we're going to have the teres minor. And in blue, we're going to have the teres major. And those are all your rotator cuff muscles. Okay. In here in red, we'll zoom out so you can get a better picture of what we're viewing. So let's zoom back in. In red, we're going to have the rhomboid minor. And in green below that, we're going to have the rhomboid major. Okay. Over here in orange, we're going to have the trapezoid muscle. Or, I'm sorry, it's called the trapezius. I knew that didn't sound right. We have the trapezius muscle there in orange. And then below that, on your lower back, we have what's called the latissimus dorsi. So trapezius up top, latissimus dorsi. And if you're looking at this, be sure to know that on this side with the trapezius and the latissimus dorsi, that's a superficial view. Deep to those muscles would be your rotator cuff muscles. And that's all for the head and back muscles.